Hey guys, and welcome back to Minister Crystal. If you are new here, my name is Minister Crystal. So glad to have you here. So in today's video, y'all, we are going to be in 2 Corinthians. And I felt very, very led to share this because I'm a very spiritual person. I do believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But I'm also human and I'm also still on my spiritual journey. We'll be on our spiritual journey until the day that we die. Okay, trust and believe. You will be on your spiritual journey until the day you die. And there is no one that is perfect. There is no one that has perfection other than Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And last night I was fighting and fighting. Let me tell you something. When God takes something for you, don't wish for it back. Those are going to be those negative thoughts that are going to come in and try to uh, distract you or lie to you and make you feel like you're missing something that you're not. God is telling you to keep moving on. Keep on moving forward. Don't go back to the things that I took from you. He's letting you know that I have more for you, okay? And if you keep going back to the little things, what we talked about, you will never get to the big things and the big blessings that God has for you. And God is really working on me. God is working on my children. God is working on my family, period. And I'm going to stick in there. Some days, I'm talking to somebody, some days you may not see the way that is coming because you're like, oh, okay, I'm doing all this when I'm going to get. Be patient, my child. Be patient. Look at the little things. Keep on studying in your Bible. Keep on doing Bible journal. Keep on doing the things that God told you to be consistent and attentive with, okay? If you can't be consistent and attentive with the things that he already blessed you with, how can you be consistent and attentive to the much more that he's going to give you? So I want to come in. And the reason why I say be careful, you know, stay on your word because God, it, let me tell you, God is trying to keep you confined in the places where he want to keep you confined in because he's preparing you for something much larger than the eyes can see okay or anybody else they can see all right these the money entities they think they know your bliss and they think they that they stopping you from getting where you're going but they're not it's just a delay and you have to tap into knowing that that is not for you leave that where it is whatever that may be leave it where it is god don't move you from it whether it's a husband a wife a family member a job a, a, um, a neighbor, whoever, caregiver, whatever you feel like you have lost, look at that as not a loss. That is a gain. That is a preparation. God has removed that from you. That's a milestone that you have climbed. You're looking at it all as a loss and all of what you went through. But turn that negative into a positive and look at it as a stepping stone. Yeah, I may be been, I may have been down here. I may have went through that. But look where I'm at now and look where I'm going before then and then and then and then. You got to think like that. You got to have that type of mentality. So God just been showing me stuff and, and you got to be careful when you listen to people and people trying to preach to you and tell you what not to do. You got to go to the Lord. Do you hear me? You got to go to the Lord and you got to know the Lord. Okay. Reference back to your Bible. Do not listen to people who are constantly talking and trying to command you and tell you what to do and not reference you back to nail scripture in the Bible, not ordained or told you to go to nothing in the Bible and read and pray to God to receive those things. You are going to them as man to get your confirmation. Y'all got to stop going to these people for revelation. Revelation is not in man. You, you understand what I'm saying? Revelation is the Bible. Now, we know God have messengers, ministers, and pastors that is a stepping stone for you to get to Christ. If those people are not giving you those steps to get you to Christ, then you need to click off those videos. You need to stop watching those type of people, okay? I don't want you to be afraid of telling your testimony. A lot of people going to tell you don't tell your testimony. A lot of people going to tell you don't tell your business. A lot of people going to tell you people don't want to hear your business. People don't care about what you're going through. A lot of people going to tell you all things that is not true, okay? That is not true. You're going to have people that's going to listen, and you're going to have people that don't listen. You're going to have people that care. You're going to have people that don't care. You're going to have people that's for you. You're going to have people that's not for you. But in total, 100% that people do not care about you, nor want to hear your testimony, nor want to hear what you're going through, that is a lie, and that is Satan, and that is the money, and that is the devil. You better click off that video of anything that talks to you and commanding you to do such a thing, okay? Because God is good. Even the things that we are mad at, the things that we 
we don't been hurt by the thing all of that can transpire and change and god will turn it for the good okay we all gonna get our karma we all gotta pay for our sins but just to say that people don't care about you or want to listen to you or hear your testimony to uh even think that no one cares about you or want to hear what you got to say if you got zero views i watch somebody say i don't care if i get zero views i don't care if i get one or two views don't feel like nobody is listening to you you got to understand when you doing these videos and it's a therapeutic thing for you you are ministering you are cleansing yourself okay you are telling your testimony so you are worthy to be doing that okay cleanse yourself tell your testimony if it's a therapeutic a uh, way to connect with other people or just to deliver that stress up off of you, you know, and to talk about these things so other people can find you in the things that you're going through. By God, baby, do it. By God, I tell you, baby, do it. Because let me tell you something. People do not know the light that is inside of you. People do not know the light that is inside of you until you begin to speak. They do not. And that is sad because people will judge you based on what you went through, what you're going through, what you talked about, all of these things. Tell your testimony and let them people know how God has delivered you from these things. It's okay to tell your testimony in detail because it happened to you. Why would you leave out a, why would you leave out details unless you're uncomfortable? Then if you're uncomfortable with certain things, don't tell it. Do not tell it. Okay? And that video that I did about me dating a pastor, that was a test video. That was a test video. I am very, very so much comfortable with what had been going on. The part that I said that um, I'm still dealing with that is because somebody took their life. Somebody took their life. But for people to try to comment on that video, that's why I put the comments off. Because your, your comments and your judgment is not needed. That man already made his made his maker or what he going. He decided to demise himself. Okay, so we got to be out here and pray for people's souls. No matter what they have done in their life, we're praying for their souls. And we definitely know, keep in mind, we, we know where that soul is going. Suicide does not go to heaven. Okay, anybody commit suicide does not go to heaven. All right. But I just throw that in there to let you know about you telling, you know, trying to give you an example. I'm going to constantly tell my testimony and I'm going to constantly tell things that I went through and God had deliver, delivered me from. Why? Because those are the word of the wise. Those are the word of the wise. If I'm telling you what I went through and what I learned from things that I went through, trial and tribulations, there's a testimony letting you know from that same type of person that may went through that or endured something like that, and they hear your story, then they're going to know they're not alone and they can get through this as well. But change must come. Change must come after sin. You must repent and you must not do it again. Okay? Shame on you once, shame on them twice, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, you know exactly what you're doing. Okay? So don't listen to these demonic entities, baby. I read the lines through them. They try to send all type of uh messages and everything to you, baby. I block them. I block, 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 block. They will not say your name, they will not say your channel name. But they will talk against you in videos. Block those people, okay? Block them tighter people. Them people are not the light. Them people are not of God. I see evil and demonic all in them. Nothing looks pretty on them. Their eyes, all this makeup on them. It, it, it just looks so dang on demonic. Just block them, y'all. So we're going to be in all of, I said all of that to say this. Go to your Bible. Go to your Bible. If you guys seen the live where I did Divine Comfort and I was writing scriptures on my Divine Comforts because this scripture came in the, t in the time of how I was feeling from someone a witch trying to send sickness to me on YouTube. And baby, you're blocked. Just know that. So um, we're going to be in 2 Corinthians. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, it says, The Apostle Paul writes, but he said to me, may grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boost all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. Did you catch that? 